So what is the current state of play with Ebola? Um, you're very possibly not aware of this, but this weekend, as I talk, more than six million people are confined to their homes in an attempt to stop the spread of Ebola in Sierra Leone. Now officially, there are 2,400 deaths recorded from Ebola. This however is grossly underestimated. The thing is that cases are being hidden and they're being hidden through fear of quarantine because quarantine in many of these African countries is in reality a death sentence. If you're quarantined for a month and humans cannot do without food for longer than three weeks, you're going to starve. You can't do without water and there is no piped water into these communities for longer than three or four days. So this is why people are so terrified in these countries of being quarantined. Now even here in the West, it would not be easy to not go out of your house, especially if there's, you think about if there's tens of thousands of you, is someone going to come round and, and give you food and water? No, they're not. So you'd have to survive on what you've got. So this is why cases are being hidden. Now, one African country has just recently received 5,000 body bags. That's just one of these African current countries. Now other countries are sending doctors, clinicians, nurses, medically trained personnel into the area. What's the United States sending? United States are sending soldiers. It's a typical United States solution to any problem, sending the army and browbeat people to death. So why is the US sending in the army? Well, Obama doesn't have a very good relationship with the army. That might be one reason. He doesn't like troops coming back from the front line and coming back to America and causing him problems, which they all do, because they've seen firsthand what his wars lead to and they don't want him to start any more. So maybe if he sends a few thousand, they might even be picked to be the most radical 3,000 of his troops out to Africa, into countries with Ebola, there is quite a good chance that many of them will not return. Now this is not very good. I mean, According to a friend of mine, there was a report from the World Health Organization that as many as 200,000 in Africa might be infected with Ebola. 200,000. Now, with so many people in these countries who might be infected, a large quantity of them, which is actually again 200,000, though hopefully it's not the same people, do actually have visas to travel to the US already. Some of them are even US citizens. So the chances of Ebola coming back to the US and in fact coming back to England are very high, very good, which I'm not very happy about, especially since in my job I'm public facing most of the time and um, we're on the front line really to catch it. And just to rub this in, the State Department in America have just ordered 160,000 hazmat suits. So they're obviously expecting to clean up after something nasty that is very big. And I think Ebola fits that bill. Anyway, I'm going to keep an eye on the news. Um, I'd encourage you to do the same and 
remember to keep an eye on the less known media outlets because the mainstream media simply isn't covering this. After all, where did you hear about the six million who were confined to their homes in Sierra Leone? Not on BBC News. Okay, so if you like this video and want to support me doing what I do, then please like and subscribe. And of course share. That's very important that you share my videos. Thanks very much. Bye.